Hey everybody, this is Mr. MathBlog. This is a, a quick uh, fasted lesson. I think it's pretty easy. One step equations with rational coefficients. Rational just means a fraction or a decimal. We've already solved um, um, equations with integer coefficients and the coefficients are the numbers in front of x or y or whatever the variable is. Okay, so so we're going to be doing some multiplying and dividing and addition and subtraction. So Here's our common core strand for our teachers, and then the uh, question here is how do we use one-step equations that have rational coefficients to solve the problems? Okay, so here we go. So using inverse operations to solve each equation. Inverse operation means like the inverse of multiplication is division. The inverse of division is multiplication. Same with addition and subtraction. Okay, so, so here we go. So we have x plus 3.2 equals a negative uh, 8.5. So what we have to do is get rid of this plus 3.2. So we're going to do the inverse, which is minus 3.2. And then we got to do that on that side also. Okay, now remember when we have uh, a negative number minus another number, we're just, it's like adding these and making it negative. So carry the decimal straight down. 5 plus 2 is 7. Uh, 8 plus 3 is 11, so remember it's negative, negative 11.7, okay? Easy, right? Okay, how about this one? Okay, so we have uh, negative 2 thirds over here, okay? So what we have to do is get rid of this negative 2 thirds, so we'll go plus 2 thirds and plus 2 thirds over here. And I'll write the 2 thirds just to the right of the 8 right there, because when you're adding a whole number, with a fraction, then it's just a it's a mixed number. So y equals eight and two thirds. Okay, easy enough. Okay, so uh, the students think that these are very easy, and sometimes, and teachers too, make silly errors on this. Um, so don't be don't be shy on these, and don't you know don't get yourself down if you make a silly error, because teachers do too, as you see me making them all the time. Okay, here this is a thirty equals negative. 0.5a. Well, that means multiply, so we're going to do the inverse, which is divide. We're going to divide both sides by a negative 0.5, okay? Now, careful, you guys. Here's one of the mistakes that uh, students make, and I do too. So it's going to be a positive divided by a negative, not that part. It's negative, okay? 30 divided by 0.5 is not 6, okay? 30 divided by 0.5 is actually like 30 divided by a half, and when you divide a half, you invert and multiply, so it's times 2. So it's 30 times 2, but don't forget it's negative, so A equals negative 60, okay? So common errors is kids want to say negative 6 on that. All right. Uh, okay, so here we go. We have um, uh, uh, negative Q over 3.5 equals 9.2. Okay, this is a division problem, so we're going to do the inverse operation and multiply both sides by this denominator and the negative. So we'll multiply both sides by negative 3.5. Okay, and then um, so that'll cancel out the negatives. It'll cancel out the 3.5s. And here we have a positive times a negative. So Q equals, I know 9 times 3 is 27. So it's going to be a little more than 27, probably in the 30s range right there. So, so it's negative 32.2. And, and just careful watching out for the negatives. Okay. Again, teachers make those mistakes too. We carelessly lose the negatives, okay? So, so it's real common. Okay, so here we're going to subtract 4.9 from both sides. And then um, notice I added a zero because uh, we're going to um, line up these decimals right here. Okay, so we have a negative minus a negative. So we can just add these and it's going to be a negative. Okay, those guys cancel. So I'm going to get 9 here when I add those. 0.9. Don't forget to bring the decimal down. And then 9 plus uh, 4 is 13. So it's negative 13.9. Okay. All right, here we're going to uh, add 17.1. All right, now these are different signs. And when we're adding these, we subtract the bigger absolute value. So I'm going to subtract 17.1 minus 4.8. Okay, so when I do that, remember we've got to do some borrowing. So if you don't have a calculator, I know first semester and, and most of second semester, um, uh, my high school doesn't allow students to use calculators. So uh, you got to get good at your multiplying, you guys. Your, your math, it, it won't get easier until you start learning how to do the basic operations, multiplying, dividing, adding, subtracting. So anyways, I can't do 1 minus 8, so we borrow from the 7, make it a 6, and this 1 becomes an 11. So 11 minus 8 is 3. Always carry the decimal straight down. And then we have 6 minus 4 is 2, and then 1 minus 0. So 
is 1. So 12.3 and then check the signs. This one's positive so it's going to be um, t equals a positive 12.3. Okay so here we're going to divide because this is negative 3 times c so we're going to divide both sides by negative 3. Okay so when we divide by negative 3 we get c equals negative 12. All right, so writing and solving one-step equations, uh, one-step addition and subtraction equations. Okay, so negative numbers often appear uh, in problem solving, real-world problems. You can hear Macy up there. She's she's tweeting. She's a. Uh, I found her falling out of a nest. Uh, it's a mockingbird, and um, it was. I thought it was dead, and somehow it came back to life when I started feeding it. So we're going to take it to the bird sanctuary here soon. Now that it's alive and kicking very well, and it's up there being hungry. So anyways, um, negative numbers often appear in real-world situations. So for example, elevations below sea level are represented by negative numbers. And when you increase an in elevation going up, you're moving in a positive direction. When you uh, decrease an elevation, you're moving in a negative direction. So here's an example. A scuba diver, diver is exploring at an elevation of negative 12.2 meters. As the diver rises uh, to the surface, she plans to stop and rest uh, briefly at a reef uh, that's at elevation of negative 4.55 meters. So find the vertical distance that the diver will travel. All right, let's just slide that up. Okay, so first thing we want to do is let x equal the vertical distance that's what we're looking for between her initial elevation of and the reef. Okay, and then write an equation. Okay, so so remember her initial elevation is negative 12.2 and she's rising, so we're going to plus x and that's going to get us to a negative 4.55 where the reef is right there. So let's go ahead and solve that equation. So we'll add 12.2 to both sides. Notice I added a zero with the 12.2 because this has two decimals, goes out to the hundredths place. Okay, so now this is negative, this is positive, so we have to subtract these. So 12.20 minus 4.55. You can see I did that over here and I started it right here. I can't do zero minus five, so I borrowed from the two, made it a one. Now this is 10. 10 minus 5 is 5, so we can go ahead and bring the 5 down, and we can't do uh, 1 minus 5, so we're going to borrow from this, I'm just going to borrow from the 12 and change it to an 11, and change that to an 11 also, okay, because that's what it will become right there, okay, so we get uh, 11 minus 5 is 6, and 11 minus 4 is 7, and it's going to be a positive right there, so let's answer the question in the context of the problem. So the diable will travel a vertical distance of 7.65 meters to take that break. Okay, so an airplane descends at 1.5 miles to an descends means it's going down 1.5 miles to an elevation of 5.25 miles. Find the elevation of the plane before it descends. Okay, so we'll let x be the initial elevation. So so it descends. So we're going to subtract 1.5 from x, and it's going to get us to 5.25. So we'll go ahead and add 1.5 to both sides. I should have added a zero right there, but that's okay. So uh, 5 plus uh, zero or nothing is 5, and and this is going to be 7, bring the decimal down, and 6, so 6.75, and then answer the question. So the, the initial elevation of the plane was 6.75 meters. Okay, Macy's hungry, so I have to feed her about every half an hour, and it is summertime, so I have time. So anyway, we did that with a dove a long time ago, and I was bringing the dove to school because I had to feed that uh, dove every half an hour to an hour, and uh, so I had to bring it to my classroom. And so it lived with us for about six months until it got full grown, and we let it go in the community, and it lived in the community for several years. It would still let us walk up to it and pick it up, but it lived out there for several years. So. Anyway, so writing and solving one step in uh, multiplication and division problems, okay? So temperatures can be both positive and negative, and they can increase or decrease during a given time period. A decrease in temperature is represented by a negative number, and of course an increase is uh, represented by a positive number, okay? So here's an example. So between uh, the hours of 10 p.m., so that's nighttime, and 6 a.m., the temperature decreased an average of three-fourths per hour. So per usually means multiply, so three-fourths times uh, each hour. So how long in hours and minutes will it take the temperature to decrease by 5 degrees Fahrenheit? Okay, so let's let x equal the number of hours that it takes the temperature to decrease by 5 degrees, and then write an equation. Okay, so, so remember, per means 
basically time. So negative 3 fourths, because it's decreasing, negative 3 fourths x will get us to a temperature um, uh, to negative 5, because it decreased by 5 degrees, okay? All right, so to get rid of that negative 3 fourths, okay, now this is um, uh, multiply right here, negative 3 fourths time. So we can divide both sides by um, negative 3 fourths and negative 3 fourths, or just multiply by the reciprocal of negative 3 fourths, which is negative four thirds and that's what I'm going to do here so let's go ahead and multiply both sides by negative four thirds okay and then everything cancels on the left and nothing cancels on the right so negative five times negative four is twenty so twenty thirds which equals six and two thirds hours okay now remember it said right here uh, it said uh, some, how long in hours and minutes so we got to convert this two-thirds of an hour to minutes so we're going to do that right here and so two-thirds of an hour there's 60 minutes per hour so um, notice when we multiply these fractions these hours will cancel and the three will go into 60 20 times so we're left in just minutes right here because the hours canceled so our units are just minutes right here so she's chirping, she's trying to get my attention here. So anyways, I'll feed her in just a minute. So anyway, we get 40 minutes, so it'll take 6 hours and 40 minutes for the temperature to decrease uh, by 5 degrees, okay? All right, so um, uh, here it says, why is multiplying negative 4 thirds the inverse of multiplying by negative 3 fourths? Well, remember, um, I talked about... Um, uh, we can divide both sides by negative three-fourths, but um, um, multiplying by negative four-thirds is the exact same as dividing by negative three-fourths, because when you divide by a fraction, you invert and multiply. So keep flip change. Remember KFC. Okay, so uh, anyway, so let's do a couple more. The value of a share of stocks decreased in value at a rate of 100 or sorry, $1.20 per hour. Remember, per usually means multiply during the first 3.5 hours of trading. So write and solve an equation to find the decrease in value of the stock during that time. Okay, so what I did here is um, we're going to multiply both sides by 3.5 because it's... Um, uh, we're going to... the decrease uh, of our stock divided by 3.5 hours that'll tell us um, uh, that it, it gives us this negative one dollar and twenty cents per hour okay so we're going to now multiply both sides by 3.5 right there and then we get uh, negative 4.2 so the stock decreased by uh, four dollars and twenty cents okay one more you guys so after a power failure the temperature in a free in a freezer increased uh, at Oh man, I thought I had everything cleared. Average, A-V-E-R-A-G-E. -E. Dang, I was sure I had it all cleared and I was good till the very end. Well, I haven't gotten through one with you guys and with a misspell. Okay, let's get, finish this. The total increase was 7.5 hours or 7.5 degrees, okay, and it decreased uh, uh, 2.5 degrees per hour. Okay, so we're going to write and solve an equation. So this one's going to be um, 2.5 um, 2.5x equals 7.5, and we'll divide both sides by 2.5, and we get um, uh, x equals 3. Let's go ahead and answer the question, you guys. So the power was restored in three hours, all right? It took three hours for, until it finally started getting cooler again. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense. And, and if you stare at that for a while, it looks like it's up but down. So anyways, take care.